Ginger Jester. Why the Lord? Fuck, you better have Pokemon with Cut in your team. I'm searching for a Moonstone, have you found one? I have like four in my backpack right now. No, you can't have one. Nidoran Mail. Not very effective? Doesn't even matter. Reno. I'm looking it up right now on my phone. I hate touch screens. Nido Reno. I tried to hit backspace and I hit the enter button instead. So it just did a search on my typo. Nido Reno. Move. Twist. Nidorino at Amazon.ca. Thanks, Google. Hmm. So useful. Keep fucking them up. Pumped up kicks. Yeah, yeah. That beeping is really good for my headache. Thank you. Moves. Move to your move. Moves learned by TM. Which generation is this for, though? Oh, generation 3. It was a different page. Egg moves. Okay. Nidorino can learn cut. This particular one doesn't have cut that I've seen. It might have used it while I was using my phone, but at least it can learn cut. Otherwise, my immersion. Go out of the bell. Do that. Do that. My coffee's all gone. And so is my happiness. Ow. I could have made my Pokemon evolve with Moonstone. I would have won then, I bet. Uh, no, you only took out one of my Pokemon. I still had five left. Many of which have moves that would have been able to defeat a Nido King. That's Catan. You don't know what you can do. <laughs> I'm gonna use some Pokemons now. Here to come. Go, Mitch Carp. Man, where's the super loud laser blast sound from the other games? Oh no. He did 2 HP damage. 2. Lost it! Eh, fuck it, I'll keep my party the way it is. What's in here? I hope some Pokemans that I can capture. Oh boy, an Oddish! Fucking... want to find something new! Thank you! I haven't seen a Venonat yet. That's all I wanted. 
Don't kill it, you fucker! God damn it! How many fucking Pokemon am I gonna lose to critical hits? That's at least three that I can think of off the top of my head, because that one and Snorlax just happened. And I remember, in like my first episode, I called it, and I it happened with a Weedle. I was like, just, yeah, I hit it uh, three more times, get a critical hit on the last one, and kill it. And that's exactly what happened. Bulbasaur hit it three times and got a critical hit on the last one, which would have left him like in the red. But he got a critical hit and killed it instead. Fucking... Can I, um... Can I filter out the Pidgeys, Oddishes, Rattatas? Please? Can I, like, go into the code of the game and remove them from the... Holy shit! Holy shit! I'm very angry. Very, very angry. Okay, all right, Stevie. I know this is hard for you, but can you not get a critical hit and one hit kill him, please? Thanks. I'd like to catch a new Pokemon every now and then. And I've always liked Venomat's design. I've just never used one. So maybe I'll see if I can use one. That'd be kind of cool. New experiences. Even though Venomoth isn't necessarily that good. And it's got a bad typing. Because it's a poison type in this generation. It's basically a death sentence. This is the psychic generation. If you want to survive, you better hope that you're, uh, strong against psychics. Its eyes act as radar, enabling it to be active in darkness, as the eyes can also shoot powerful beams. Laser beams. Not hyper beams, though, because it's not fully evolved. Uh, what am I gonna name you? With a Z. Curtis. It was placed in the box. Box one. Fuck you, Oddish. <laughs> I'm just trying to hang out, man. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Alright, I'm probably pushing my luck to see if there's two new Pokemon here. After all, there's only 150 of them, right? Wow, you found an item. Good for you. Do you want me to pat your head? Do you want a medal? Do you want a cookie? I want a cookie. Fucking Hyper Beam that fish. That fucking goldfish. Fuck it. Yes, no. Stevie. Oh, good. Wow. Not very strong. Your golden fish is not very good. Perhaps you invest in Eevee fish like me. Oh, that ball. Well, looks like Tadpole also not very strong. Perhaps you invest in Eevee fish like me. What else have you? Horsey. Oh, I see. Horsefish. 
also not very strong. Perhaps you invest in Eevee fish like me. I make good investment. Oh, too bad, that just messed up. No, your Pokemon, they are too weak. My bird Pokemon, what is the matter with you? I'm just gonna whip out my bird. It's gonna beat shit out of you. Come on, bird Pokemon. Whoa, what is that? I've never seen one of those before. Fucking obliterated, Stevie. I have a vendetta against these fuckers. Oh no! Not a pajata! Please, you can please be combo lost? Yeah, I know, it's normally a really unbeatable combo. I'm told I'm good for a kid. That doesn't mean you're good, though. Oh god, she has so many. Oops! I push buttons. Didn't mean to push buttons. Except for the buttons that I mean to push. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, a Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Banana Slammer. Take a data. You sign take a data. Meowth. Take this, Meowth. What's it gonna do? Inflict like seven damage on me? Wow. Yawn. Wow, another meowth. Good job. Oh, I lost. That actually reminds me of something, um, that, uh, uh, yeah, I basically said one time that, uh, kids are stupid, like, very young kids, and whoever I was talking to was like, yeah, but, uh, no, they're not, like, th these, these particular kids are pretty smart for their age, and I was like, exactly, for their age, that doesn't mean that they are smart, they are still stupid by normal human standards. I'm not implying that they will not be smart when they gain more education. It's just that they have a lack of knowledge at this point in their life due to lack of experience. Be dead now, Meowth. Thank you. You are a good boy. Or girl, I didn't see. It wasn't long and alive long enough to identify the gender. Um, I think that Stevie's had quite a bit of experience now. He is one of my strongest Pokemon. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, Pump Up Kicks is number one. Uh, do I have a revive? Because I do not want to go back to the Pokemon Center. No, no rev. No. Okay, well, um... Pumped Up Kicks is starting to fall behind, so I'm going to use Alamut Bell to teleport. Hopefully that's Lavender Town? I don't know if I used it in Lavender Town. I did. Good job. Oh yeah, um... 
Uh, I got you, map. Put you up here. And put you way down here, because fuck you. And I'm pretty sure in this generation you can still use this in battle to wake up your Pokemon. Maybe not, but I remember in Gen 1 you could. Because all items were all in the main pocket. They only had one pocket. They didn't have like key items or anything, so you could store anything in the computer. And uh, you had a very limited capacity on how much stuff you could carry, and it was awful. About as awful as any game that does that. But I understand why games do it. They don't want you to be able to just carry around everything all the time, but at the same time, it's like, eh, 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 well. You'll play with me, Leo. Huh. Lola? I know a song about you, Lola. Lola. Hello, Lola. Lola. I love that song. I used to come on the radio at my workplace all the time. Back when I worked at a gas station. The radio station of choice. It was, uh... Kind of classic rock? I don't know. They played a, a good variety of music. Which, uh, our employees appreciated. Mind Reader? Why the fuck would I want to learn Mind Reader? I feel like there's a reason to learn that. I mean, it's better than focus energy anyway. I don't use focus energy. Go for that 100% hit rate! Brick rate! Buck -a yeah. Pumped up kicks is doing exactly what I wanted them to do. Oh, you little beast! <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet, darling. Ew, your badges are too cool! Oh, that's a girl. Or is it? Who knows? I don't mean to assume their gender. Valerie. That's a pretty feminine name, but again, I mean, there's... There's... Guys named Ashley. That is a girl's name. <laughs> Like the main character in that, uh, uh, Vagrant story. Man, that game is fucking hard, man. Maybe I should play that on the channel sometime. Because I've been meaning to go back and play it again. Because I played it many, many years ago. And, uh, I just didn't have the patience to learn how to play it properly. And with that game, you need to learn how to play it properly. It's, it's too fucking complicated. And, uh, just difficult to not learn how to play it properly, so... I don't know, maybe I'll maybe I'll go back to it, because... I don't know, I feel like it was a good game, and I just didn't give it the attention it deserved. Maybe not, though. Maybe it's a piece of shit. Who knows? My opinion on most things has changed greatly in the past 15 years. It's probably how long ago I played that. Was it 15 years? I'd say it's at least 10. I remember playing that game at the gas station that I was talking about just now. Because I worked overnights, and our manager was actually cool with me uh, bringing in a PSP and playing games. Uh, as long as I had my work done, which was very minimal. I had like 45 minutes worth of work to do in an 8 hour shift overnight. And I'd get like a customer an hour, maybe. Um, so I just did a lot of playing video games and taking a lot of smoke breaks. And I don't smoke anymore, for the record. I quit. But I like to say I stopped, because quitting would imply that I'm a quitter. While saying I stopped means I just ended the relationship I had with my smoking habit. I'm just gonna get off the bike, because I'm just running and stuff. Trainer chips, you select switch items in the item with. 
Why do I interact with anything in these games? As you know, you can press the right button in order to run to the right. Wow. Pidgey. Show them what we think of Pidgeys. Yeah, that's right. We think Rolling Kick. Come on, something interesting. You're, you're relatively interesting. But not interesting enough. Oh, Otis, you're adorable and I love you, but fuck off. Ah. Like, why couldn't there be Magnemites out here? Why are Magnemites only in the power plant? Yes, I get it. It's, it's a power plant. It's got electricity. You can put electric-type Pokemon elsewhere on the map to prevent this. I'm running into the same fucking Pokemon everywhere because all the special Pokemon are in one location only. Why don't... Why don't you spread those around? Ah, God. They get better with it over the generations, but Jesus Christ, red and blue, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure this is the same route as the last one. If it isn't, then... Fuck. Uh... Fucking... How mad? No, I was technically on Route 12 before. This is 13. 14, 15, Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Oh. One more Pokemon has something to say. Oh, it's an Oddish. Mm, fuck your face. Hello! I'm not gonna lose, not when the wind's blowing my way. I think that's what he said. I skipped this dialogue pretty quickly. Harry. Second Spiro. Ooh, what is that? I don't know what that is. I've never seen one. I've only seen 400 of them. That's not enough to know how to fight one. Oh, what are you? Maybe that's why everyone remembers Generation 1 so well, because they shove the same Pokemon down your throat four million times in the game, so then you have no choice but to remember them. Whereas in Generation 2, they actually had, like, more variety, so they weren't- they were switching it up a bit. So you don't remember Generation 2 as well, even though there's a hundred new Pokémon that are all way cooler than Gen 1. And... but you just don't see them often enough. Because there's more variety. I just hate people who say that Generation 1 is the best. I really do. I try to understand and respect people's opinions as best I can, but... Generation 1 lovers are just dumb. They're just dumb. And wrong. They're dumb and wrong. You need to use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. You're not wrong, buddy. You ain't a Gen 1-er. You are not wrong. Pokemon in these games don't learn good moves on their own. You have to use TMs on them. Which sucks because they're one-time use. So, again, the game design itself is working against itself because they made it so that they don't learn good moves on their own but the things that you use to teach them good moves are limited use so uh, what the fuck am I supposed to do teach them high gems man I taught every fucking Pokemon surf surf is a decent move but don't do all That's another Pokemon I've never used before. I forgot Dodoro even existed. That's how memorable the Gen 1 is. I I gotta stop complaining about Gen 1. Probably making it seem like I hate Pokemon or something, but I don't. I just I hate people. 
I hate closed-minded people. Gen 1 is good. It's just every other generation is just as good, or better. And for the record, I'm not saying if it's your opinion that you enjoy the game, the Generation 1, more, cool. If you don't like changes that just make things better, then that's your thing, you know? But, like, if you want to... If you didn't like Generation 2, and uh, that's why you say Generation 1 is better, because you just don't like it, then whatever. I don't know what I'm, where I'm going with this. I just don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> Uh, I just, uh, Generation 1 is good. It's just, statistically speaking. Like, let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu. If they didn't make it so that your Pokemon level up to bejesus, then they would be really good games because they have all the, the things from the recent games. The Generation 1 Pokemon in those games learn good moves as they level up because they learn moves from Generation 6 and 7. They, um, the, the special and physical split is done, so their moves change depending on what move you use instead of the type. That's way better. It's just unbelievably better, because if I punch someone with a fire punch, it's still a fucking punch. It's not a laser beam. It's a punch. Gosh darn. I keep forgetting that uh, Levitate is a thing in these games, because, like I was saying earlier, so many Pokémon have abilities that just do practically nothing. Uh... Yeah. But yeah, if, um, Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu had it so that you did fight Pokémon, because that is the game, fighting Pokémon. That's what the, the video games are about. Um, and if they didn't have the whole everybody gains 100% experience thing. Like, everybody gaining a sixth of the experience? Cool! That works out. Because you're not just multiplying the experience gained by six. But, uh, yeah. Like I've said in other episodes, I've, I've, I've watched several different uh, streamers and YouTubers play Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee, and they all become overleveled before fighting Misty. And none of them uh, were grinding. There was that one guy who caught a bunch of Growliths, and then he had a, a level 30 something Growlithe with the stats of like a level 100 or more. Um, so yeah, he was, he was grinding, but um, none of the other people were doing anything extra special. They weren't, like, fighting extra Pokemon or anything, but they become super overleveled. I gotta switch Alan McBell out. She keeps missing. Too many smoke screens. But yeah. It's just technically speaking, the first game is a nightmare, and even this remake is outdated at this point. So, Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu is a pretty good remake of Pokemon Yellow, specifically, because you start out with a Pikachu or an Eevee, uh, and you get the other three normal starters at some point. Um, I just really wish they had to keep in... Like, if you want to do the, the motion control capture thing because your system is a, a one big gimmick, uh, cool, go for it, but make it so that that happens after you pick Pokeball. Right? Like, taking out fighting wild Pokemon and weakening them and putting status effects on them in order to capture them, that, that's the gameplay. You're taking out the gameplay. Just throwing Pokeballs at things? That's dumb. That's why I didn't like Pokemon Go, because it's stupid. It took myself and everyone else in the world a long time to realize how stupid it was because it was such a big fiasco. I don't even know what I'm doing. What am I doing? 